Hi everybody, Ryan here. Just thought I'd do a quick review on Article Demon software. Oh, I got introduced to it by about two months ago after learning the, the very painful and slow manual way of submitting articles to article directories. I was introduced to Article Demon and uh, well, oh, I have software that does a lot of the work for me. It saves me a lot of time. Anyone out there trying to build backlinks to their site, yep, this, this is a fantastic way of doing it and it will save you hours. So the review now, as I say, I've only had it for two months, so I'm slowly getting the hang of it. So I'll stumble my way through. Um, the the program does have excellent training videos um, on all aspects of the software. Um, so if you do get stuck at any point, bang, open them up. Um, it's also got a PDF document, which is also brilliant. So there, no, no point um, to get difficult. And there's also a forum. Um, related to it and quite a lot of the, the forum people use it so you can find information there as well so how does it work well the first thing obviously you need to do is get directories now um, you can go into Google and search them or Yahoo and search them using um, certain search terms um, or uh, when you actually buy the program you get given a bonus list um, this is it here all sorts of various uh, categories and niches etc um, so once you've got your list account, so either obviously you see it says add articles, MS friendly, etc. You either press that button and it puts them in automatically, or you can go in there manually and obviously type in your URL, etc. And when you press the start button, it will uh, zip across and go and find it and bring it back. So. So what do you do from there? Well, obviously you've got to go and create the accounts. Now manually, uh, obviously you'd have to go in, type in your email, type in your password, um, put all your details in, etc. And it will go, you know, press the go button and it will then send you an email. With this, you simply click on the, the directories you want to create accounts with, press create accounts, fill in your details. Um, you can put in spins, you can put spins throughout the whole thing. Email address, um, I recommend you using the one that's got your domain name on the end of it and setting one up that's not the main one you use, uh, maybe directories at uh, whatever it might be, um, your domain name. Uh, some directory sites don't use or don't allow free email addresses in there, so it will actually bomb out, um, something to be aware of, but you can use them anyway. And Obviously, you can sort of set up multiple accounts, username and password. You can use a, a spin in there also. I personally tend to put in a proper username and password just so I can remember if I need to manually fix anything. And when you press the uh, the button, basically you go and submit them. It opens up the program, goes and puts all the details in there, and then tells you your report, whether it's good or good or bad. So obviously once you've done that, it brings back a report, download the emails. So this software downloads the emails for you, it then goes in into your email accounts and presses the little verification button or verification link on that email. Once again, a huge time saving thing, um, rather handy. Uh, I'll click the account button now, just so you can see the screen that comes up for that. So you see, this is the this is the main process. It's now logging in through your internet connection, finding what article void. Um, and remember, this one here is checking your email. So it's going in and trying to do the uh, do the action. So that's what the screen will look like. I'll just uh, stop that for the time being. This is the log. You get logs for everything, um, all the different errors that occur. You can use them to go and fix some of your faults on your on your different accounts. So close that. Um, so yeah, what's next? Well, the next bit obviously is to create articles. And this bit's rather rather handy. It does have a built-in spinner. All right, as you can see, I've got one article sitting there at the moment. But I'll do a new one for you. So create a new article. Um, obviously, you go in there and type in your title. You can do your own spinning function. Now I don't use this program to do the spinning for me, however, it, I've gone through the videos on how to do it and it's not it's pretty good. But I've got a, a different software that does that for me. Um however yeah, once again watch those videos, but what you pretty much do is in my case, I'll go into my other source, 
bang, whack in my titles. If you press the preview button, you'll see see your results as you keep pressing it. Oh uh, yeah, your summary. Oops, go into whack in that. Once again, preview it. Looks pretty good. Now you'll find that some article directories will say your summary is too long, some will say it's too short, so you can play around with that and manually do what you like. I tend not to spend the time doing it. Uh, your body, obviously the rest of the article, excluding the resource box I've got down the bottom. So whack that in there. Just tidy up that last bit of space so it doesn't look bad when you submit it. Right here, once again, preview it. So there's the body of the article. Now, you've got a couple of choices here. You can modify your spin and put your keywords into the article itself. Um, some people like to try and put it into the first paragraph in case you have RSS fees or have RSS fees from that site. I tend just to put it in the resource box. Um, puts it down the bottom, but it creates a link. Nonetheless, I tend to only do two links per site. So I do a spin of the resource box also. Keep everything unique. And it makes sense. Once again, press the re preview button, and you'll see it's got the it's got the link in there and the um and the keyword here using HTML code. So pretty simple. Yeah. Now the good bit: keywords. So obviously your article relates to a niche. Um, this one's uh, fitness. So you type in the word fitness, go to select sites, press the go button. And what this does is it goes through your list of article accounts, or sorry, article directories that you have, and it brings back all the ones with fitness in the selection category. So, you know, when you manually submit them, you've got to go and choose a category. Well, this sort of does it for you. So, you go through fitness. What do I do? I don't want these ones that I've got zero accounts set up with. So, I go and select, select the ones that I want. You go check selected and go add. Now, Obviously, um, I don't just hit fitness with this sort of a niche being weight loss. So there's, there's another there's another option here you can display. You keep typing keywords in, right? So we'll do that first. Health. H E L T H. All right. And go go. Once again, it zips down through it and finds a bunch more. So as you can see it's found some more now it's got health in it so we select them check selected add them now this green one down here if you you've come up with all your categories and you can't think of any more if you click that it brings in the list of accounts that it can't find categories that match your um, your niche but what you can do is go through and look at some of the different things um, categories that might bring one. Um, in this case we're not finding it too many. We've got weight loss, right. So weight loss is one that we definitely want to target. So you can go up here, type in weight loss. Uh, yeah, like so. Go go. Zips down and finds all the ones that are related to weight loss. As you see there's only weight loss. Weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. So too easy, hey? Select them, check, add them. Go close. Right here. It's got 183 sites to submit to. Go OK, and there's your article sitting there. Now I won't post that one. I'll actually delete that one because I've already done that one once. All right, but this is what I did before. Can it give me bring it up again? But don't need to look that. What you do is click add my articles. And it goes and starts adding them all to your ones to submit. All right, so it's added 108 um, articles to the queue. So now you just press proceed to submit. All right, so this screen um, is just running through and. Pretty much telling you what's going on.
yeah, pretty much that just keeps running away when it's finished. It rings a little bell to tell you it's all done, which is really handy. So I'll pause this now and wait for this to finish and get back to you shortly. All right, uh, once again, a log. I actually cancelled that so you see a heap of aborted one, but there's logs for everything, as I mentioned before. Close that. All right. The other cool feature it's got is you can go and see the published list. Suck down the list of ones that are published. Brings back the full URL. Now the other feature on this that I uh, haven't quite played around with. Actually, there's two things I'll mention. Preferences. Visual Aid. Now, to capture code .com, a lot of the d directories require you to put in a decapture code in order to um, in order to submit your article. So you can go and put in your account, the capture account, and this will enable it. It pops up on someone else's screen somewhere in the world, and they actually go and type that in for you. So that's a very very handy feature. Otherwise, you get these constant ding, ding, dings, and you've got to enter them yourself manually if you're up for that. I started doing that. Um, very painful because you submit 300 articles and 100 of them require decaptures. captures. Well, once again, there goes all the time you save by buying the software to start with. So, very, very handy. Um, I'll get out of that. But the other thing is the scheduler. Now, I haven't played around with the scheduler yet. I've watched the videos on it. Um, do plan on learning it soon. You can go and whack in a whole bunch of um, articles to submit, and you can actually schedule the uh, the submission. So, I say I won't go into too much detail, but um, yeah, very very handy program now. Yeah, like I say, I got this only about two months ago, and I've sort of used it religiously once or twice a week. So my article submissions. You know, increased dramatically from 10 every week sort of thing, doing it manually to now 100, 200 a week. So I'm really creating backlinks out there. Um, I can highly, it just saves you so much time, saves you so much effort. Fantastic. So I can highly recommend it. So anyway, if you uh, if you are interested, I've uh, put the link down there on the bottom there to where I got it from. So zip in there. I've you know I found the support rather good. Haven't really used it too much, but any questions come straight back and. Uh, yeah, I say, can't uh, can't recommend it enough. Um, good luck with your search engine optimization.